at this real nice Sanderson Farms whole young chicken that I got from Grocery Outlet. Check out their price. Wow. So today I'll be using my brand new air fryer slash rotisserie to make this special recipe. Okay, so welcome to my kitchen. I think this is the perfect spot to put it. I'm gonna remove my old Oster convection oven. Wow, isn't that a huge improvement? That's a perfect fit right there too. The recipe will be known as spicy hoisin rotisserie chicken. All right, so I got these green onions that I just picked from my greenhouse. Which I grew. This is for garnish, guys. And squeeze some lemon in here, you know, why not? Never hurts to add some zest, citrus in life, right? All right, so I'll be working with some uh, Himalayan pixel. First time trying it, so we should add a little bit of uh, sweetness and volcanic uh, saltiness to it. Special flavor. And it is pink though, check this out. I think that should be good. Never used it before. Crushed red pepper, some chili powder, and soy sauce, of course. Generous amount in there. So cook that real good. I'll be working some tabatillo. I prefer uh, sriracha, but that's all I have. Can't be too picky. And, you know what, throw in some vinegar in there, you know, kill the germs, maybe it'll bring a special flavor in it, a little tanginess, you know, can't go wrong with that. And then, I'm going to massage in this uh, hoisin sauce, very generous amount, okay. Cook the whole chicken, give it some sweet love. Of course, don't forget to seal it in for freshness. I'm gonna marinate it for half day to a whole day. This five pounder has been marinating for well over 24 hours. Oh, I actually flipped it over during midway point. Yeah, it looks delicious. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna attempt to put the five pound chicken into the rotisserie even though the manual uh, has presets for a three pound chicken I didn't realize I over the limit because you can't really find small chickens all right so what I'm gonna do is insert this part through the middle this all the way and then I'm gonna clamp these on here these forks Spikes so we can attach the meat. That took some finessing around, but I was able to get it lined up and locked down. Okay, let's see if we can fit this in there. It's gonna be a tight fit, guys. So here's where you want to release it so you get enough room. Lock it in place. You gotta drag on the bottom. See? I don't think this will work. It's too big. Even though a five pound chicken fits in there, but it's too big. Um, I'm gonna attempt to use the rotisserie function regardless. If it doesn't spin, then I can just go ahead and do the convection bake. Okay, so the rule of thumb is typically you want to bake a chicken 350 degrees, 20 minutes per pound, but I want a crispier skin, so I'm going to go with a maximum 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and you want a 15 minutes per pound, so that's a 5 pounder. I'll be baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour and 15 minutes. So here we go. An hour and 15 minutes. That's 75 minutes. Okay. Um, 400 degrees. 
start. All right, let's see if the rotisserie works. Cross my fingers. Uh, it's getting in the oil. If you guys don't mind the oil, <laughs> it's touching the oil. Um, but hey, the rotisserie function works. Look. Actually I had to stop it because I smell something burning and it looks like I think some of the fat got to the top burning unit so I think what I'm gonna do is cut it in half okay so I cut the chicken in half remove the drumstick I don't want to be dragging you can tie it down but I decided to just chop it in half and this should be about a two pounder right there and I decided to bake it for 20 minutes 350 degrees See, that's a lot better. It's not dragging, hitting the top, the bottom, the sides. So here's how the chicken turned out. I think I overcooked it a little bit. And don't forget the hoisin sauce so kind of makes it want to burn a little bit. All right, so let's just dig into this hoisin rotisserie chicken. It's juicy. And let's grab a hold of this leg right here. Look at that. Ooh, still hot too. Look at that. See that? Moist and juicy. That crispy skin. I taste that pink salt and also the hoisin sweetness. Wow, this is a whole nother level. Mm -mm -mm. 